All right, let's talk about the robot that pretty much walked onto the stage and made the entire robotics community sit up straight. Engine A just dropped the T-800 boards. And I'm not exaggerating when I say, this thing hit the industry like a thunderclap. People expected an upgrade, maybe a new prototype, a nice little teaser video. Nope. Engine A rolled out a full-size, fully built, fully tested humanoid that looks like it walked out of a sci-fi movie and directly into a factory shift. So here's the part that stunned everyone. The T-800 isn't just tall, 1.73 meters, just about average human height, but built with proportions that actually make sense for industrial work. No cartoonish limbs, no odd center of gravity. It moves with this strangely natural rhythm, the kind you only get when you've spent years obsessing over gate mechanics. And Engine Eye did exactly that. They rebuilt this robot three times before landing on this final design. Now let's get into the specs that made experts go, wait, what? This robot outputs 450 Newton meters of torque. 450. For a humanoid that's 75 kilograms, that number is absurd. It's the kind of power that lets it sprint, twist, lift, pivot, all at speeds that would normally tear cheaper joints apart. And Engine A didn't borrow some off-the-shelf actuators either. Every major joint in the T-800 uses a self-developed electro-mechanical unit tuned for explosive movement. When everything fires together, the peak output can hit 14,000 watts. That's not just strong for a robot, that's strong enough to pick a fight with the laws of physics. But raw power means nothing if a robot can't control it. So Engine Eye gave the T-800 something special. A brain worthy of the body. By default, it comes with an 8-core computing module. If that's not enough, you can swap in their Thor chip, a monster pushing 2,000 tops of AI compute. Paired with the 360-degree LiDAR and RealSense depth cameras, the T-800 maps its surroundings almost instantly. It's not hesitating or second-guessing its steps, it reacts like it's been living in that environment for years. And then… The hands. This is where a lot of humanoids fall apart, but Engine I went all in. Each hand has 7 degrees of freedom, tactile sensing, and surprisingly human-like movement patterns. It can hold a heavy object, then immediately flip to a delicate precision task. Sorting items, handing off tools, placing objects in tight spaces. No weird shaking, no jittering, no robotic stiffness. Just smooth, intentional control. But here's the twist nobody saw coming. Engine A built the T-800 around a solid-state power battery designed specifically for humanoids. Why is that such a big deal? Because solid-state means safer, denser, longer-lasting energy, and Engine AI squeezed four to five hours of serious work out of it, and to keep those powerful joints from cooking themselves, the T-800 cools its legs using an active thermal system that constantly adjusts temperatures on the fly. This thing wasn't built to stand on a stage, it was built to work. Engine Eye didn't just launch one version either, they launched an entire lineup. The base model, an open source ecosystem version, a Pro and a Max, and the starting price? 180,000 win. For a machine at this level, that's jaw-dropping. Most humanoids with half the torque cost triple that, and they're not making these by hand in some tiny lab. Engine A's new automated manufacturing line is already running. They're prepping for mass production, like actual real-world deployment, factories, hotels, warehouses, retail, all the places people kept saying humanoids were not ready for. Well, ready or not, the T-800 has arrived, and here's what's blowing experts' minds the most. This robot finally breaks the barrier that's held back the entire industry. It's not a demo bot. It's not a look what we might do someday robot. It's a finished product with enough power, enough intelligence, and enough endurance to actually do real jobs in real environments. Engine AI didn't just join the humanoid race, they hit the gas so hard that everyone else is now scrambling to keep up. If this is the baseline for their T-800, imagine what their T-900 or T-1000 is going to look like. 
Stay tuned because we are officially entering the era where humanoid robots aren't dreams or prototypes anymore. They're here and Engine AI just fired the first shot.